very good morning friends so in this session we'll see different types of followers in the previous session we have seen different types of uh, camps classified according to different uh, uh, parameters now we'll see the classification of uh, followers in this uh, session right so the followers are classified based on uh, different uh, parameters first one is according to the surface in contact according to the type of surface in contact the followers are uh, classified into different varieties the first uh, variety is a knife edged follower if the the contact surface of the follower with uh, a cam is of uh, knife edge the contact surface uh, provided with a knife edge then the follower is said to be a knife edged follower right if you look at the picture right so the contact surface is uh, provided with a sharp edge right and due to this you will have a point contact with the uh, the full uh, cam surface right so this is a knife edged follower right so this uh, knife edged follower is having the disadvantage of high wear rate uh, because of its uh, short page uh, due to the the contact between the two surfaces cam and follower surface and due to the relative motion between these two members the wear rate is uh, high right so when the contacting end of the follower has a sharp knife edge then it is called a knife edged follower right the sliding motion takes place between the contact surfaces the knife edge and the cam surface and this sliding motion causes the wear of this uh, sharp edge of the follower and slowly the dimension uh, proportions are changed as far as the follower uh, is concerned that's why it is seldom used in uh, practice because the small area of contact surface results excessive wear right it is uh, never used in the practice right seldom used is nothing but it is uh, never used in applications because of this uh, excessive wear or higher wear rate right so this is the first variety of uh, uh, follower based on the type of surface in contact then the next one is a roller follower next one is a roller follower when the contact end of the follower is a roller look at the follower end is provided with a roller right and this roller is having contact with the surface of the cam and the cam is pivoted at this point right so when this cam rotates in certain rotation in clockwise or anti clockwise sense then the roller rolls on the surface of the cam at the same time it takes the corresponding uh, follower uh, motion either translatory motion or uh, oscillatory motion but the contacting end of the follower always rolls on the surface of the cam okay so obviously it exhibits a rolling friction the rolling friction uh, will have uh, uh, less effect on the wear rate of the contacting elements uh, when compared with the the sliding friction right so that's why it is mostly widely used uh, uh, follower when the contacting end of the follower is a roller it is called roller follower as shown in figure since the rolling motion takes place between the contact surfaces therefore the rate of wear is greatly reduced when compared with the uh, the wear rate of uh, follower as in the case of uh, knife edged uh, cam and follower attachment uh, right the roller followers are extensively used uh, where uh, more space is available such as stationary gas and oil engines or aircraft engines and so on okay but uh, the main disadvantage of this uh, roller follower is uh, the side thrust uh, exit uh, the side thrust is uh, developed due to the uh, rolling motion of the follower okay so this is uh, roller follower and the next variety of the variety of the follower is a flat faced follower or a mushroom follower if the contact surface of the follower is provided with a 
a flat surface or a straight surface uh, which will have uh, line contact with the cam surface then that is called a flat facial follower right so instead of flat surface if you provide uh, some uh, circulars uh, curved surface at the contact uh, then it will become uh, a mushroom follower uh, since it resembles uh, the contact surface of the follower resembles the mushroom uh, geometry that's why it is also called as mushroom follower right when the contacting end of the follower is perfectly flat uh, it is called flat based follower right it may be noted that the side thrust between the follower and the guide is much reduced in the case of a flat facial follower which is very much higher in the case of your previous roller facial followers right so the thrice side thrust in the roller followers can be eliminated by considering a flat uh, uh, surface at the contact between the cam and the follower right so this is uh, regarding the flat face followers then this is another example for uh, uh, flat face follower uh, with a slight modification called a mushroom follower look at the uh, flat face of the follower is uh, provided with some uh, circular uh, or curved surface here right so the flat face followers are uh, circular then it is called a mushroom follower right the flat face followers are generally used where the space is limited such as uh, cams which operate in the walls of ic engines right so this uh, flat face followers are widely used in the uh, closing and opening of ic walls uh, you might have seen in our uh, ic wall, ic engines right then spherical space follower right when the contacting end of the follower is uh, uh, convex or uh, convex shape uh, then it is called a spherical face follower right it may be noted that a flat face follower is used in the automobile engines high surface stresses are produced right so in the previous uh, uh, slide we have seen flat face follower right but with the application of flat face followers the contact uh, area is more uh, since it produces uh, line contact obviously it induces higher surface stresses right so in order to reduce these uh, uh, stresses uh, due to flat surface of the follower the follower is uh, machined to a spherical shape uh, right uh, this is uh, just like uh, uh, the end of the follower is just like the riveted end of uh, uh, riveted joints uh, right which is having contact with the, the cam surface and due to this type of contact uh, right the stresses developed can be reduced right there are uh, two types of uh, spherical followers here one gives uh, uh, translatory motion and another one gives uh, oscillatory motion right so this uh, follower takes a translatory motion and here it is uh, following uh, oscillatory motion okay then the classification of uh, followers uh, according to the uh, type of motion type of motion attained at the uh, output end so the followers can be classified uh, uh, translatory followers or oscillatory followers right so if the follower motion is either reciprocating motion or translatory motion then reciprocating or translating followers right when the follower reciprocates in guides as the cam rotates uniformly then this follower is known as reciprocating follower or translating follower look at this here there are uh, three cam and follower mechanisms right the first figure figure a represents the translatory motion of the uh, follower here right so which is having a, a knife edge with the contact of uh, cam and here there is a roller uh, contact of the follower with the cam and what type of motion you will get here here also it gives a translatory motion it gives translatory motion when the cam rotates uniformly similarly when the cam rotates uniformly in figure c the flat face follower takes uh, 
टू वन टू मोशन और रेस्प्रोकेटिंग मोशन और वर्टिकल ट्रांसलेटरी मोशन वर्टिकल ट्रांसलेटरी मोशन ओके सो दैट्स हाउ द फॉलोअर्स कैन बी क्लासिफाइड बेस्ड ऑन द मोस्ट ऑफ द फॉलोअर इनटू रेस्प्रोकेटिंग और ट्रांसलेटिंग फॉलोअर एंड द नेक्स्ट वैरायटी इज oscillatory or uh, rotary follower or oscillating or rotating follower as usual the cam is uh, rotating at uniform rate right and the follower which is placed on the cam surface uh, uh, it is uh, oscillating about this uh, point uh, oscillating about this point uh, due to the uh, rotation of the cam when the uniform rotary motion of the cam is converted into predetermined oscillatory motion of the follower it is called oscillating or, or rotary follower okay so oscillatory motion is nothing but uh, the rotary motion to uh, segmental uh, circumferential length uh, it is nothing but oscillatory motion right then the next classification is according to the uh, the path followed by the follower or uh, the trajectory of the motion followed by the follower we can classify the followers into a radial follower right then offset follower a radial follower and offset follower right so first uh, let me discuss uh, radial follower let us take a uh, follower which is um, in contact with the uh, cam right so this uh, follower is in contact with the cam in radial direction when we can say that it is a radial if the axis of the cam sorry if the axis of the follower passes through the center of the cam where the cam is fixed to the frame then it is said to be a radial right look at this the axis of the follower fixed to the sorry axis of the follower passes through the center of the cam when the most of the follower is along the axis passing through the center of the cam it is known as a radial follower similarly here also in this uh, uh, roller follower case the axis of the follower passing through the center of the cam here also the axis of the cam passes through the center of the cam right so radial direction is nothing but the if you draw a line from the circumference to the center of the a member and then it is a radial one radial line so like this you will have a number of uh, radial lines here so here the follower following uh, one of the radial direction of the cam that's why it is called a radial follower okay so this uh, radial followers are uh, uh, high widely used then offset follower when the axis of the follower when the axis of motion of motion of the follower is along the axis away from the axis of the cam center so that means the axis of the follower is at a distance from the axis of the center of the cam that is called offset distance that is called offset distance if the follower axis is separated by certain offset distance from the center of the cam then that follower is called offset follower right so look at this this is a knife edge follower this is roller follower flat face follower and this is a mushroom follower in all these cases the axis of followers are at certain offset distance from the center of the cam obviously this type of follower is known as offset follower okay so in this way we can classify the followers Uh, based on uh, three parameters right so first one is based on the shape of the contact surface then second one is um, according to the uh, motion of the follower and the third one is based on the path or the trajectory of the motion of the uh, follower it follows uh, we can classify the followers into different varieties right i hope it is clear thank you thank you